Hello everybody. Today I got some advanced tips for you guys. And probably one of the best copper mining places I would like to share with you guys. If you guys know a better spot, ooh, let me know. But this spot is really good in my opinion. Here is my location. I am just southeast of the 8 boss. This is where the 8 boss is. Right down in here in this like little valley. That is my location. But, we got all these nodes. There's nodes that spawn right here. He's already farmed it up. There's a bunch of nodes over here. He's already farmed up most of this stuff. Uh, there is some nodes right here, and some nodes right here. There's quite a lot. A lot of nodes. So, the one reason I like this spot is because, well, first there's a ground level right here. It's not super hilly like some of the other locations. Um, and he doesn't get stuck on most stuff. But, one thing I found out is to improve his efficiency if he's just farming copper, he's gonna try and go after stone. So, it's a way to alleviate that for him to go in after stone all the time, like this one right now, he's gonna go for it, is destroy the rock and then place a patrol route right on top of the rock so it despawns it. That way it doesn't spawn and that way he doesn't go over, rush over to and, and hit rocks. He can spend all his time hitting copper. So that is kind of like my advanced little tip for you guys, is to just place these patrol markers down at every rock node that you see. That way it improves his efficiency of just going after the copper mines. Because if you don't get all the rocks, he's just going to keep... Every time a new rock spawns, he's going to stop what he's doing and just hit a rock because he has a chance to get copper out of the rock but you don't want him to hit the rocks, you want him to hit the copper nodes. And that's going to improve your efficiency by a lot. Because he's going to stop wasting his time on those rocks. So yeah, use patrol route, place them right on the rocks where they spawn, and this will despawn them. And another good thing about these patrol routes is you can pass right through them. It doesn't interrupt with the, uh, the miners' work, like uh, their pathing system. So he's not going to get stuck on these as well. So that's another good thing about these. And it provides some light for them. They, they won't sit there and complain about light. So, pretty awesome. And then in the future, um, you can always assign patrols uh, to these markers as well. If you want to guard this area more securely, it's already all set up. <laughs> So, yeah, if you don't know how to set up uh, patrols, uh, check out my video. I do have a video on how to set up patrols. Uh, but that's it. I just want to show you guys this uh, copper location and how to improve the efficiency of mining. See, right now he's, he's still going after copper. Not wandering off trying to get rocks. <laughs> I think he just filled up. But yeah, I, I've already been doing this for like probably 20 minutes. He's already quite a bit of stuff. Another thing is to place a chest next to it. You'll also place it in here. So if, if this gets filled up a lot, just place a chest right next to it. Um, because whatever you assign him to, like if you assign him to get copper from this area, he's only going to have copper in his inventory. So he's going to just put naturally put copper in his chest anyway. So Yep, that is about it. I don't want to make this too long, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.